Okay, i am just had a hilarious showdown with a uh, front clerk at a OBGYN office. I come to my wife's first ultrasound of a kid that we're having right now. And um, it says like master required, printed all over the wall and shit like that. And I'm like, I fucking wear that shit. And my wife was like, oh no. We need to wear masks. I was like, just walk in here, fuck that shit. And then uh, we walked in and everything was normal. And then like after that, uh, we were all polite and I was asking where to go get a bath, uh, go to the bathroom at. And then they told me and then I left and then I came back, my wife was wearing a mask and then the, the oldest fat lady there was like, you gotta wear a mask. And there was somewhat of a confrontation, but it wasn't really that crazy because it was like, I'm not fucking wearing one. So I sat there the whole time and then it was like, they backed down a few times. I could tell the story in more funny detail, but right now I'm just annoyed with the whole thing. But uh, basically, like, uh, I threatened. I was like, well, you want me to take my phone out and record you? I said that shit to her because she, she was trying to intimidate me. I told her I wasn't intimidated by her, and she kept trying to weasel her way back out of me. I told her COVID was over, basically. I told her you should respect people like me standing up for fascism. And sooner or later, they got, like, whoever the oldest manager to come out here and tell me please wear a mask because like, I do not want to wear one no, like I'm just sitting here waiting for my wife they, they told me I wasn't gonna be able to go back with my wife to the fucking meeting anyways because I wasn't gonna wear a mask because they're trying to humiliate me to just make me sit out in my car because I'm not gonna follow the rules that's what the whole thing was and the thing of it is is that this isn't a real rule anymore the emergency power thing is over and they're just tri on a power trip the medical industry thinks that they're part of the government now well anyways they finally like went to the final thing was oh we're gonna call the cops and i'm like okay what can I, let's see let's see we'll call the cops and they literally did they called the cops i'll spit some photos of it but uh basically this really old dude who was coughing all over the fucking place i'm like i'm about to get sick of this old cop and then uh an older female cop showed up and it was like they were like okay we're good. and he came out with some billy club from like the 1910s that they probably used to hit people of color with literally it was like wood but uh <laughs> that was funny anyways yeah they can't and so at that point i'm like i'm not gonna what am i gonna have some really emotional showdown i wasn't even that jazzed up i didn't care it was only when people came up to me talking to me all crazy if i said anything crazy back my whole attitude was chill the whole time but it was kind of ridiculous but i sat in there you know as long as it took for the cops to get there which is almost the whole time it was ridiculous the story isn't even that good I guess I should tell all the wisecracks I got off on in there. I wasn't even trying to wisecrack. I was just trying to like, leave me alone.